Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Key Red Games here, and I am back with the first episode of the Summer Camp Challenge. I am finally doing this challenge. It's been a long time coming. Uh, if you guys remember, my very first video on this channel was creating them. And so, when I was creating the first episode, um, I recorded the episode four times. And it just seemed like the video, I don't exactly remember what happened. I think, like, my computer kept talking about no space or something. And it was nothing really on my computer, so I had just gave up. I had reset my entire computer and everything. But anyway, so... We are here. I definitely want to start doing this. And then it's perfect because um, it's getting close to the summertime. And they're going to make me mad because they are glitching. I'm, looks like I'm going to have to merge some more CC. Because it has its days where it just cooperates and it has its days where it don't. But anyway, so I'm just... While they, they, everybody's supposed to be taking a vacation day off from school... Okay, everybody's done that. Um, so, ooh, let's pause. <laughs> so, uh, let me reintroduce you to everyone right quick. Um, so, this is Daniel, right? Hold on. Right up in here, that's Daniel. And then this is Olivia. I think that's her name. Yep, this is Olivia. And then you got the athletic one. You got Shane. And then you got KK. Uh, short, her real name is Camilla, and you guys don't know him, because in the four times that I recorded, um, I, when I rolled the dice, we had to add another person to the, um, to the camp, so this is Corbin, I was gonna start, like, completely over, but I was like, nah, I don't wanna do all that, so, it is ten o'clock, uh, if you guys, you guys probably don't remember, so I'll refresh y'all memory. So, every morning, they are supposed to be up at 6. Someone's supposed to be in charge of cooking. And then uh, uh, someone else is supposed to be in charge of washing the dishes. And then... Oh, I gotta fix their money. Hold on. So, so they only supposed to have... No, wait. Yeah, they only supposed to have 500 because you start off with $400 because it was four sims. And then every time a newbie comes, you add $100. Okay, good. Now, that's correct. You have to disable the aging. And each sim has to have a bad trait. We did all that. And I am using her camp that she built, the creator. Shout out to Ingrid Z. Coco. So, yeah. Um, so, I fixed the money. And we are... We need to meet at the flagpole. So let's everybody... Hold on. It might be easier to put everybody in a group. So I can just click... Go here together. Form group. Yes. With them. Are we in a group now? Alright. Everybody's supposed to meet at the flagpole at 10. It's 7 minutes after 10. So we gonna get this started. We just gonna jump right into it. Um, hold on. I think. Okay, yeah. So as I was recording, I should have just started like fresh, fresh. Um, Camilla earned the cooking trait. I think you have to reach a certain level. She earned the cooking badge, or whatever. So um, this challenge ends when. Three of your sims should earn all the badges. Okay, so technically we need... There we go, that's correct. Since she had a badge, she gets... Every time a sim earns a badge, they will earn $1,000. So, that's cool too. Alright, so... It is 10 o'clock in the morning, and then the dice will roll and the activities will start. So, we're waiting on two more people. One, two, three. All right, everybody's here. Let's roll the dice. You guys might not be able to hear my dice because I'm on my phone. All right, so 
I have a 7. So when you roll a 7, it says, oh dear, we are in trouble. There's no space for your disobeying teens here. Straight to the cell you go. If your sim has two or more badges, they will be freed once all their needs are in red. If they have one or no badges at all, you must let your sim die in jail. I mean, cellar. Wait, I have to... I have to make my sim die? Wow, we are starting off terrible. So I'm just supposed to lock them in there? Okay, so who we want to kill off? Um, let's see. Y'all missed it. When I first recorded, um, Daniel and Shane here got into a fight. So we, <coughs> excuse me, let's put, let's make Daniel go here. And once he gets in there, I guess we gotta lock him in there. That's so mean. We about to lose a sim already. He's already in a red. Alright, so let's lock door. Let's pause because I don't want him to leave. Alright. Let's unlock and then let's do lock door for everyone. Uh, lock door for everyone. Okay, y'all. I feel bad because Wow, we starting this gameplay off very mean. He's already in the red for hunger, y'all. So he might, he might, he might die already. And he has no badges. Because everybody's supposed to start off with a camera, so. Okay, I get it now. So it says, if your sim has two or more badges, they will be free once everything is in red. If they have one or no badges at all, we gotta let them die, so. Dang, I'm sorry, Daniel. Looks like you already gonna be out of the, um, of the, uh, out the summer camp. So let's roll again. Cause that's so cruel. Okay, y'all, we rolled a five. Newbie alert. A new sim has joined the summer camp. You can use a random trait generator to create your sim. The rest is up to you. Alright, guys, so we gotta add a new person to the camp. So let's, um, dang, there's no mirrors out here. So let's just go into create a sim real quick. I'm going to create a sim. And I will be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Here is Reagan, the newbie that just came to the camp. Um, so she is, uh, she's an animal affectionate person, but she leans more towards cats. She's a cat lover, and her bad trait was that she's a loner, which is perfect because she's around, you know, these teenagers. They all go to the same school, but, you know, she got her own group of friends, and, you know, she don't really talk to them like that. So, but, yeah, so, uh, oh, great. I forgot to change her athletic wear. <laughs> That looks so funny. Hold on, y'all. This look a mess. I'm going to change our outfit. Change outfit. Because that's terrible looking. Oh, gosh. MC dresser. Just put that back on. I will work on. I forgot to do her athletic and former wear. But anyway. So, we did that let's move on to the next pair of dice and i should probably start recording the dice so y'all can see it right along with me okay oh my gosh we rolled another five so i'm gonna add another sim but let's roll it again okay so we rolled the eight so i need to add another sim and then i need and eight so eight is test your fitness you probably thought you would get away with the a make all your sims exercise until they're very uncomfortable okay all right so let's does basketball count all right let's do um let's have her dream big daniel since you're still alive where are you Wait, I locked the door, Daniel. Come on now. 
Isn't there a way to keep him in there? Y'all comment down below and tell me. Because I thought, like, once I locked the door, he couldn't get out. Okay, let's... No, Daniel, you supposed to die. We not... We supposed to do this right. Reset. No. Reset him. Let's come up in here where you belong. I know you don't want to, but... Wait, where did he go? No. Come back up in here. You messing up my gameplay, Daniel. Because you want to eat. Jog up in here. Come up in here or teleport in here, one or the other. Okay, let's make... Uh, let's make him... Alright, do some sit-ups. Do some push-ups. Do uh, some more push-ups. And then I want you to... I want you to go jogging. And then Olivia! I want you... Or should we, should we have traveled to the gym? I don't think we can travel though. I want you to, let's see, let's get a basketball. Can we play some basketball? Dream big. Yeah, I think that's all like, dream big, dream big. Okay, so everybody is exercising. Shane's getting his sit-ups on. Daniel, what are you doing? Oh, Daniel, come on now. I don't want you eating because you, you're supposed to die. <laughs> you're supposed to die. They might not be uncomfortable. She's level three. Okay, so. I want you to shoot. He can't really do anything. Hold on. Let's do lock door for. More choices. I'm a little confused. Um, my door four. Shoot, everyone, right? My door four. Everyone. All right, he's gonna die soon, y'all, cause he's he's supposed to be in red, so. Oh, jeez. I, <laughs> I put him back in his red because that's what he was supposed to do. So, everybody say bye, Daniel. Oh, my gosh. I got to get a picture. Put his maxes on. Holy crap. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, no. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all looking at this? I'm sorry. I got quiet for a second. Daniel is gone. Rest in peace, Daniel Higginbottom. <sighs> He's dying from starvation. So we can go ahead and unlock the doors. That's crazy. Look, there's the Grim Reaper right there. Can he even get in? He can't even get in. Hold on. I got you. I just, oh, I can't unlock the doors with him. Unlock. Alright, Grim Reaper. He's starving. I can't believe this. I actually had to kill off a sim. Then Higginbottom is dying from starvation. So, the Grim Reaper is going to come take care of him. Alright, do we... Is everybody uncomfortable? Okay, she can stop. She broke her ankle. She's not nowhere close to being uncomfortable. 
Alright, let's check on Shane. Shane might not even get uncomfortable because he's, he's the athletic one. And, I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, Corbin is at the funeral. I would try to ask him to, like, plead for Daniel, but... Uh, I can't. We had to kill off a sim. And you're supposed to be exercising. What is this that you have on? Did I give you that? I hope not, because that's ugly. See what's happening. Witness death. Alright. I'm sorry. You didn't even know him. This is the first episode. <sighs> Go jog to clear your mind. Go ahead. I can't believe this. Let's check on everyone. She is uncomfortable, right? Okay, she's uncomfortable. Camilla's uncomfortable. And he's very sad. She's totally fine. Where is she? Oh. She's about to be uncomfortable because of her hygiene. Oh, look. She got level 3 fitness skill. So, I'm going to need him to, like, leave. Let's put these walls down so I can see what's going on. Alright. Okay, so, she's already uncomfortable. Uh, please change out of this, Reagan. I'm, I need to change that. Comment down below to remind me to change Reagan's athletic and formal wear. She's happy because she's in solitude. Oh, you're not going to get nothing, none of that. I probably should have sent them all to the gym. But is he jogging? Ooh, this is going to take a long time. Okay, y'all, I will come back when everyone is very uncomfortable and... Um, I have to get a new sim to the camp. Alright, y'all, I'm back. So, I added another sim. Um, I added another sim to obviously replace Daniel. Um, so I made another male sim. So, everybody welcome Anthony. So, as you guys see, he is a painter. Um, he's just a good guy and he's a glutton sim. So, it's almost like he's a starving artist. Um, but yeah, guys, so... The only thing left for them to do, I'm going to try to do at least like one sim day when I when I uh, record the summer camp challenge. Because um, the only thing left for them to do now is to uh, start cooking dinner. Because y'all know it takes so long to do stuff in the sims. And I think it's 4.30 right about now. Okay y'all, so we are back in game. Yep, it's 4.30. Like I said, Camilla's getting ready to... What? I don't care. Oh, I got the dang bank mod in my game still, which I need to take it out. Um, but yeah, so Camilla here is going to make dinner. And uh, everyone is just so freaking sad. He's sad. He doesn't even know him, but he's just sad because, you know, you see the little urn. I might have to put that up because I don't need them, like, sad every day. Is it a possibility to put this in someone's inventory? Is that a thing? Alright, cool. So I placed that in the inventory. And so while they are waiting to eat. Because dinner starts at 6. So, and dinner is from 6 to 9. So, and they have to be in the bed by 10. So, they must be done by 9. Everyone must have, you know, their shower and stuff by, um, by 10 o'clock. So... I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Because, um, like I said, she's going to cook, they're going to eat, and then they're going to go to sleep. So, I'm excited to be doing this challenge again. Um, I should have been got started on this. Um, I was just slacking. I was like, well, since it's the summertime, it's the perfect time to go ahead and do this challenge. Because I want to complete... A series on my channel and I know I know I haven't been playing with my main family the Blakeleys and I stopped the parenthood uh, challenge 
um, who I'm looking for. I know I haven't done the Parenthood Challenge. I recorded an episode for that. I gotta find the, the, um, the footage for it. So, I don't know what happened to it, honestly. So, yeah, um, Camilla's gonna call everyone to the meal. That's what she's just doing. Um, I don't think it's nothing wrong with eating a few minutes early. What is that? Shane's going through a phase. He's feeling very rebellious. <laughs> and we'll seek to challenge parental authority. Okay, there's no parents here anyway. But yeah, guys, so everyone's headed to eat. But thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if you've heard of this challenge or want to do this challenge. I will um, find the link to the rules if you wish to do this challenge. And uh, I will see y'all in my next video. And comment down below your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when I post. And I also support back as always. You guys know. You subscribers know. Alright, I love you guys so much. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.